<laughs> That's crazy. This is our new cup. The whole idea behind this is... Which makes the system hands-free. <laughs> So we're here with Matt with Kia. Um, yeah, just tell us a bit more about it and what it's all about. And yeah, yeah so I was a um, I was a fly fishing guide for uh, five six years for this, and then COVID shut that down. So I ended up figuring out what I used to carry, and I used to carry everything I owned and a uh, everything I needed to carry in like a lunchbox in the bottom of my bag, and it was just a nightmare. So I thought I'll find a way to carry it better uh, for myself. So I ended up thinking about the five things I needed: so shelter, fire, tools, water, and medical. And then I, so I broke them down into categories, put them in individual uh, pockets so that I can um, take what I need when I need it. I don't have to take the whole thing. Yeah. So sometimes I'll take the shower. Most of the times, like day trips, I just take the medical, maybe take the fire kit if I feel like it. So this is the broken down version of it? Yep, this is everything. Full kit. Yeah, this is everything. That's it laid out, and that's everything that's in it. So cool. It's pretty Sweet. small for everything that comes with. Yeah, yeah it's packed down. I mean, it took a lot of, took me about a, a year to design it, to, cool. get it, to get it compact enough to make it pack down well. And make sure everything was the right size and make it fit. So it was a bit of a mission. So, but it came out all right. And with your usables like bandages, all that kind of stuff, do you have like refills for that stuff yep. as well? Yeah. So I got extra gear like all the tinder and stuff, and yep. I've got first aid kits and stuff, so you can top it up. But you can also add your own stuff. So like the fire kit only has the the ferro rod and the tinder, but I yep. made it so you can put your own lighters and matches in it as well. Hey, so there's room for it because yes. you obviously want to have a backup. And does it come with like the guide and inf- and first aid information? Yep. So that sits behind there, nice. and then that's inside the medical kit. So oh, cool. everything's good to go. So it's all in one thing. The handy thing is I just leave, like I said, leave it underneath the seat and then grab it when I need it and take what I want. And yeah. then for people that are quite keen to jump on getting one, where can they find it and then how much are they? Yeah, keyoutdoors.co.nz or .com and um, they are 250 usually and uh, or 280 with the head torch. So okay. that sort of comes with it sometimes. And you guys are on Instagram, on yep. social media Or Key well. Outdoors, yeah. Or yep. Key Outdoors. Cool. Sweet. Awesome. Sweet. So, yeah, support a local New Zealand business, and um, it's a good bit of kit. You can never go wrong with yeah, right. having the survival gear when you yeah, need yeah. it. Most Kiwis don't carry, carry much, eh? That's sort yeah. of, we're a, sort of a Shelby Wright sort of people, so it's, yeah. it's yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. tried to make it, so it would be make it a lot easier for people. A lot of people that are just starting out don't even know where to start, so it sort yeah, of exactly. gives them everything they need in one. Hardcore people always make their own, but there's a big get people that just don't know what to do so yeah, it does it for them the whole idea behind this is i got sick of carrying all my trash and stuff when i was in the back country and coming yep. out and like i did a big trip up um a back country canterbury river one time and i take proper food so i had a big plastic bag bouncing on the bag leaking everywhere <laughs> yeah. for hours and hours so i was like i'm sick of this so i made it so it was fully sealable so inside it's got a lineup and then it's got a uh, full zip seal, so it's got a ziplock. And then um, when you when you fill it up, you can roll it up like that, crush all your trash down, and then sling it around, strap it down, and crank it down. Cool. And then when you clean it, the whole idea is so you don't put your hands dirty. You just do that. Nice. Put your hands out, and you rinse it off, and then you just go again. Nice. And so there's a big one. There's a small one which is for hiking and stuff, and then the big ones for like for the truck, car camping, and stuff. So you can have more more gear in it. And then prices on these again? So these are going to be um, 60 and 80 Cool. And they'll be here in January, so they're just getting made now. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah, pick up your trash. We hate finding it out there. Yeah. And yeah. you can pick up other people's as well. We're here with Danny from PhoneScope. Um, quick question, just like um, a bit about the company, how you guys started, yep. what you're all about. Cool. Uh, so PhoneScope originated in the USA. Yep. Um, so um, through a business relationship I have over there, I met the creators and um, during the 2020 lockdown, um, had an opportunity to bring it to New Zealand. So that's how we uh, got started over here. Um, so all the products are designed and manufactured in the United States. Okay. And the PhoneScope kit itself is very simple, straightforward. Um, it's a phone case that fits onto your phone itself and an optic adapter that fits onto uh, your spotting scope or binoculars. Uh, the pieces just twist together, very simple, and then they fit straight onto um, your kit like this. So straight onto the eyepiece. So you'll get it made for a specific spotting scope? Yeah, so the reason our kit works so well and it's so simple to use, like you're done, is because it is... Um, optic and phone specific okay. so there's no um, manipulation or anything it's just put your phone straight into the case 
put the optic adapter on and then slide it onto the eyepiece of either the spotting scope um, or the binoculars. Okay. Um, hit your camera mode, uh, video, whichever one you want to do. We also have a Bluetooth shutter button which makes the system hands-free. So it takes away the shutter that you get when you're filming at a distance by touching the phone. So you can click this button from standing away from it and it'll start to either record or take the photo. Oh, cool. So, yeah. That's really cool. And then in terms of if, if people are interested in getting their hands on one, is that yep. a New Zealand site or is it still the US-based one? No, so um, I'm distributing for New Zealand and Australia. So okay. I'm based in South Canterbury and we are direct-to-consumer. So um, phonescopenz.com. Okay. Jump on the website and everything's available online. Perfect. And you guys also on social media? Yep. Cool. So Same thing, phonescopenz. Cool. Perfect. Thank you so much for your no time, worries. Danny. Really yeah, appreciate it. Thanks, yeah, guys. We'll catch you around, though. Yeah, so I'll give you the rundown on our, on our new bipod. So this is our new carbon notch bipod, and this really comes into its own with its leg adjustment. So yep. you've got that fully spring-loaded leg. You know, your uneven terrain, you can just push the button and it'll engage at any height. Yep. And you've also got your full range of movement with the, with the bipod as well, so you can rotate. Oh, nice. Yep. yep. Attaches and detaches it, uh, detaches it, push the button, stalls into your sling attachment point, so you don't have to modify your rifle either. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So you just remove your sling starter and screw on there. Yeah. And, uh, and it's just a, oh yeah, it's just like a yep. bolt. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So the bipod engages onto that ball. Yeah. Yep. So this is one of four models we've got. So, so some you look at the cab, you look in the cabinet here. So we've got our ultra long, which is our longest model, and then through to our notch. Carbon and LT, which is our shortest model. Yeah, and uh, you also new to the show is we've got our tripod over here. Oh, so cool. this uses the same ball system as our um, as our uh, what our bipods use. So you can actually say we've got our spotting scope mount on here. You can use your spotting scope. So use your your rifle on here too. Okay. So uh, that hooks straight on. All on a 38 millimeter ball, super smooth. It'll lock off yep. wherever you want it. And uh, the so tensions twist, twist to lock. Yeah, on that, yeah, on twist to lock on the yeah. ball. Yeah, that's the one. And you've got, a, you've got a full range of adjustments too. So this is the same, same tripod as what we've got here. You've got from standing right down to shooting, just off yeah. the ground. Yeah. So the same thing basically does everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And, and with your spotting scope adapter, that fits any any standard spotting scope. They they share the same mounting point. Okay. Um, so. Yeah. There we go. It's on now. Yeah. So you've yeah. got camera adapters, spotting scope adapters, yep. rifles. Yep. Mm. You, know, if you, you can also hook your camera on your on your bipod if you want. All the same mounts, you know. Yeah. So it's a great system. You're off in a hurry and your tripod's in your pack and your bipod's more handy. You're like, hey, you can look over there at whatever you want to look at. That's sweet. Yeah. yeah. And then in terms of so people trying to get a hold of like trying to get a hold of one. Just jump on backlands.co.nz. Yeah, mate, we're all online, eh? Yeah. Uh, not in too many stores around the country, predominantly an online business. Yeah. Something new that's hopped on the market or anything that's really cool. Yeah. So, one thing I've seen that's caught my eyes that weird looking thing there. These so, new things here? Yeah, yeah, so these are the um, Zulu 6 um, series of binoculars that they do. They're image stabilizing. Um, so, they're very sci fi looking, they're very Star Wars y. Um, yeah. But they have um, the very unique feature where you turn on a digital um, element. And the um, the focus will basically mean that it will straighten your vision. So it'll counteract the shake. There's a certain amount of handshake that people have. If it's noticeable or not noticeable, that affects your image downrange, yep. um, which will make it blurred very slightly. Now that counteracts that, and so it actually becomes a lot more clearer than you're, than you're used cool. to. So they offer it in ten by thirties, and then they do it in some ten by sixteens, uh, some sixteen by forty twos. Really. Is there any chance we could have yeah, a quick look through? Yep. So just um, pull that in like you normally would, and yeah. then um, flick that forward and ready that, to go. That, that stabilizes. That stabilizes. Yeah. We'll get a reaction out of Callum, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy like off it's moving heaps so what happens when you're looking at bush or you're looking at a open tops or whatever um, when you're looking at it, your targets uh, it's hard to find definition if you've got that shape mm. things will be a little bit blurred um, this really helps you to pick out movement um, it does feel a little bit funny you can get a little bit yeah. seasick <laughs> but <laughs> so like slow motions everything yeah, it slow motions everything and you notice it massively eh? it's, yeah. a, it's a big difference um, the 16 powers have been really popular these are the nice little compact 10s yeah. but the 16s are a little bit larger a little bit heavier um, yeah. but they're awesome for doing you know it almost eliminates that need for um, you know your low power spotting scopes yeah, because you've yeah. got 
such a stable platform. Oh,